Okay, let's practice. A chemical company manufactures three chemicals, A, B, and C. These chemicals are provided via two production processes, one and two. Running process one for an hour costs $400 and yields 300 units of A, 100 units of B, and 100 units of C. Running process two for an hour costs $100 and yields 100 units of A and 100 units of B. To meet customer demands, at least 1,000 units of A, 500 units of B, and 300 units of C must be produced daily. Use Solver to determine the daily production plan that minimizes the cost of meeting the company's daily demands. So this is a good exam type question that I think it would be a good idea to practice. Uh, the shell is posted for question 25, so take a few minutes to open up the shell, see if you can complete it, pause the video here, and then we'll walk through the solution for that when we come back. Okay, here's the solution for question 25. Our cost per hour was given to us in the question for process 1 at $400 and process 2 for $100. Our output production per hour was also given to us, and for process 1 we got 300, 100, and 100 for chemicals A, B, and C, and for process 2 we had 100, 100, and 0. Now we can see from here, we can already see fairly quickly that it would be favorable to produce in process 2, but the downside to process 2 is we don't get any chemical C and we need some. So ideally, in a perfect world, we would just run process 2 if we didn't need any chemical C, but we are going to have to run process 1, but we are going to have to run the more expensive process 1 if we want to have any of chemical C. Our decision variable in this case is how many hours to run on each process, and then our total cost is really the only formula, or one of the only formulas we're going to need here, and that's the sum product of the hours run and the cost per hour. Our chemicals produced, if we look over here in column D, and cell D8 in particular, we take the sum product of B8 to C8 times the hours run, and we can drag that all the way down, and these things need to be greater than or equal to the chemical required. Finally, in Solver, we click on Data, Solver. Our objective here is the total cost. We want to set the total cost to a minimum by changing the number of hours that we run the process, subject to the constraint that the chemical produced needs to be greater than or equal to the chemical required. Again, choose the box that says make unconstrained variables non-negative and use simplex LP. When you click on solve, you'll get the output of three hours on process one and two hours on process two.